What's up, y'all? I'm Mike from Omega Music. Gus Davis. And I'm Sarah Levin. We're the owners of the Barrel House. And today we are cracking the seal on the latest from Ryan Porter, the Optimist. This is a 3LP. It was a uh, big boy set. All kinds of jams, yep. And uh, a couple reasons I wanted to do this record. Uh, the first is that it's a really, 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 really good jazz record. And I think one of the most important like developments in music over the past two years or so is that there's like a lot of great jazz all of a sudden. Word. Um, so like, you know, everyone knows about Kamasi Washington and Bad, Bad, Not Good, but if you scratch like just a hair under that, there's just like this whole world of dope shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, in, in addition to what they do. So Ryan Porter is one of the founding members of the West Coast Get Down with Kamasi Washington and Miles Mosley and uh, Ronald Bruner and a whole bunch of other people. Um, that are putting out great records. Uh, this one was like really hard to find. Look at that. Gatefold action. Nice. Uh, this was real hard to find. It, we got a few copies in and they sold out and then we just could not get it back. Um, but it's back now. So come check it out. We're going to play some of it for you. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what are we pairing this with? Uh, beer from our friends at Listerman Brewing Company out of Cincinnati. They uh, got together with the cats at Lupulin Brewing Company out of uh, Big Lake, Minnesota. Guess what their town's named after? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's called So Much Hops in the LBC. It's a New England double IPA brewed with what? Vic Secret, El Dorado, and Simcoe hops. Oh man. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, gonna I'm ready for this. It's a good. Uh... So much hops in the LBC paired with the West Coast get down. Right. right. So, yeah. It just made too much sense. Can't beat that. Yeah. No, but. It's harder before me to do. Sorry, dude. Because we want to be able to watch you. Right. And Listerman's really been turning some heads lately with their hazy IPAs and their flavors. And I mean, pretty much everything that they make. And their can artwork. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Pretty yeah. great. Most of the can artwork that they uh, pair up with Lemon Grenade, who does just phenomenal graphic design work. Is that since you based on that? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I don't think this one is though. But anyway. Yeah. How about these glasses with a whole 16 ounce can in them? Look at that six, <laughs> 17 ounce glass for a 16 ounce beer. That way you're always getting a proper honest pint. Look at that. Sorry. <laughs> that's not bad. It's not hey, good. That's not <laughs> bad, bad, not good. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. It is juicy. Yeah. Really quenching the thirst. Seriously. Yeah. It's like juice. That dog will hunt too. It's 9%. Mm hmm. So, does not okay. taste like it. I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Good morning. Yeah, you can't really see the probably the can art as well as you should be able to, but all their artwork is really, really cool. Don't they do the, uh, like the King Records mm -hmm. stuff too? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Man, I love these guys. Yeah. yeah. They're great. But yeah, stop down at our shops. Grab that Ryan Porter before it goes extinct again. Uh, get you some uh, so much hops in the LBC. Yeah, yeah. There's only a few four packs left. There's not a ton, so. Pitter pack. Bye, bye, bye. And uh, <laughs> like and share the video. We'll see you next time on Cracking Seals. Peace. Uh, cheers.